stadium is mid-sized in terms of capacity. Its capacity for decibel level virtually unmatched. Like when Kenny Wheaton took back the pick. Legends like Mariota and LaMichael ran wild. Welcome to Eugene and Austin Stadium, home of the Oregon Ducks. But this isn't any regular matchup. It's a battle of top tens, a couple of forces meeting head-to-head -head where one team will try to make a resonating statement. As we'll see the number two team in the country, the Ohio State Buckeyes, taking on the fourth-ranked team in the land, the Oregon Ducks. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollack, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. The Buckeyes will kick it off to get us underway. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Ducks offense will get the first crack at it here. And here he comes just jogging onto the field. But what's going fast, the heart rates of everybody in this crowd, Jesse. Well, this is a special player. All eyes in the stadium on this guy. And David, you know the defense. They're going to have to find him. Taking a shot on the first play. And it was worth the gamble, but the long pass is incomplete. You know, as an offense, you just don't get that many great opportunities in games to hit these type of big-time plays. When plays like that present themselves and receivers are open, as a quarterback, you have got to make that throw. Second down coming up. Grabbed behind the line, it's Stewart. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. It's early in the game, and as offenses try to get their rhythm, these easy completions are very important because that's what helps you get your feet underneath you as an offense and as a unit. And hopefully, as this game goes on, they'll be able to rev up and get more aggressive taking shots. To the ground to try to pick up the first. The Ducks are stopped, but not before getting it past the sticks. It's a really good sign if you're on offense here. You're putting it on your offensive line on third down. Critical down and distance, opening drive of the game. Let those guys fire off, get a hat on a hat. You can run the ball, pick up the first. You're around midfield. And all things looking pretty good here early for this offense. Going up top on first down. And he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. It's hard throwing in the pocket, man. You got bodies and 300-pound dudes falling all over the place. They're trying to hit you. That time, the pressure got to them, and they forced the incompletion. They'll line up for a second down play. Looking for a crease. It's James. He stopped after getting a yard out to the 30. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. It'll take some work to get to the sticks. It's third and long from the 30. To the air, it's Gabriel. Makes the grab on the left. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. There's a reason third down is called the money down. What a great find by the quarterback. Great job finding his receiver. Uh, at the end of the game, you look at third down percentages, it tells a huge story, and it goes a long way in deciding who wins a football game. The Ducks come to the line in the hurry up. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. Got room at the 35. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. I think it's really important for this offense. They get this guy going early in the game, and they're doing a nice job of that right now. Remember, he's the kind of running back who gets better as the game goes on. That's a really good omen for this offense, considering his success now early. They're going to go right back to him on first down. Relying on that running game as they threaten a pickup of four down to the 13. Operating in the red zone here on second down.
The give from the gun. They knock him down after a pickup of four. Ball is at the nine-yard line. I think that was an example of the offensive coordinator trying to help out his quarterback. He's trying to keep these third downs managed. You know, you throw the ball on second down and it's incomplete. Now you've set up third and long, and now you're set up to fail. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. And the Ducks will keep this drive going. And this offense has really gotten to a nice rhythm here on their opening drive of the game. Running the ball, getting it down now into a goal-to-go situation. They really have established a bit of a physicality here early. Let's see if they can keep that up. After another clutch third down conversion, it's first and goal. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. And that's why it's hard to run down by the goal line. The defense just has so many bodies crowded into the line of scrimmage. Offense couldn't get it done that time. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. The back goes in motion. And he'll finish the run in the end zone. Touchdown, Ducks! And they just keep feeding it to their workhorse back to open this game. Great job in the open field. He's got tremendous vision. He can make people miss. You saw all of that on display here in the opening drive. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point makes it 7-0. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And what a way to finish it with a 9-yard touchdown run. On the run from inside his own 5. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. So Ohio State's offense will go to work for the first time today. And these two electrifying runners can put on a show, guys. Well, we always talk about the importance of tackling on defense, never more so than it came like this. When you've got two studs in the backfield that can make people look silly, you better bring hats to the football. Yeah, and you think there'll be a lot of carries today? When, when you got running backs like this that you can feature, you're going to see them get the football a lot early and often. This crowd going to try to make life miserable for these guys. From the gun, the running back has it. Nice move to keep moving. They've got him down at the 40 after he ripped off 15 yards. That's a really nice run right there. And one of the things I love about him, he runs with such physicality and with the toughness. Do you think Woody Hayes, the great Ohio State coach, would have loved to have this guy in his backfield. His running style just marries so well with that. When you think about Ohio State and their tradition at running back, right? With all the athletes they've had throughout the decades, this guy was meant to play in the shoe. And midfield, he's got room. They'll get him stopped at the 45, but it's a big 15-yard pickup and a first down. This defense is going to have to do a better job slowing down the run. We've seen twice now in this opening drive, this guy break one. And so this defense has to do a better job at the point of attack, and their D coordinator probably is already thinking to himself, do well, I have to get another guy in the box to slow this guy down? Oh, and they'll try to catch him with a pass. Caught over the middle. It's Scott. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage, and nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. Quarterback on the keeper. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. Yeah, and it's a nice job by this defense understanding, listen, that QB is a threat. And they're going to run all kinds of options, and he's going to run the football. They were dialed in and got that sucker to the ground. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. 
looking to throw it to Howard. Just gets rid of it to the running back underneath. And they wrap him up, but not before he gets enough on the catch for the first down. And had they not picked up that first down, it would have been decision time for the head coach, right? You're kind of in no man's land on the fridge. Are you trying a long field goal? Are you going for it on fourth down? But because of the execution there and the nice throw, let's keep this drive going. Let's see if we can get six. They'll throw it on first down. Looking to the big tight end. Got his man downfield. He was smelling that end zone, but they get him down at the four after the big pass play. Well, Reese, you and I were talking about this before the game. How is this defense going to be able to deal with all the speed they have offensively? You saw them just rip off a big play. And, Jesse, now their head's spinning just a little bit. Give up a big chunk play, and it's right back at them. This offense trying to quiet the crowd on first and goal, and they are not cooperating. He works his way all the way down to the three, and the defense is reeling. Well, they try to go quarterback design run on that play, but the defense just not buying it. Nice job everybody playing downhill and making a tackle close to the line of scrimmage. Now second and goal, and right in the teeth of this noise. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. All right, this offense just keeps trying to pound the ball into the end zone down tight, but the defense, they're very, very physical. So I think you got to think about either a perimeter run, a potential run pass option, or let your quarterback try to go make a play throw. So loud it's rattling your fillings on third and goal. From the gun, wants to pass. <laughs> he caught it. And he was straining for the goal line, but the defense stopped him short. Man, and that's just making it way too easy on the defense. They're laughing at that short ball. They're like, really? Okay, we'll just make an easy tackle and jog our punt return team out on the field. We're going to make it that easy for us. And the offense doesn't bat an eye. They'll stay on the field and try to score from the one on fourth down. Trying to punch it in. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Buckeye! get down here in the red zone when you get close to the end zone and you get goal to go situations you've got to be physical and I love teams that can run the football they run the football hand it to the running back he does the rest puts it in the end zone Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. Hit that one with some aggression for the point after. 75 yards on the touchdown drive, and they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. All tied up and just about set to kick it away. He'll start the return inside his five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. And Oregon has it back, and here comes the offense. After standing on the sideline and watching that long touchdown drive, they really need to put something together to give their defense a rest. And that's a real thing, man. Like, you've you played a lot of plays. You get worn out. You need a chance to go decompress on the sideline, get some oxygen. Palmer, now it's on this offense. Yeah, this is the definition of complementary football because it's a two-pronged problem. You've got to score points and answer, but you've also got to take your time and give your defense an opportunity to get their win. They're going to run it to the right. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. That back had absolutely nowhere to run the football. Actually, is he counting? I think he's counting to make sure there's only 11 guys on defense. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Dropping back, it's Gabriel. Throws to the wideout. He's got it. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Man, what a big catch on third down. Going up, catching the football, understanding where you're at, now getting a fresh set of downs. Nice play by the receiver. The Ducks in the hurry up. The give to the running back from the shotgun. 
You know, I think a big part of this isn't necessarily scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. Let those big fellas get lathered up. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. Handoff from the gun. And they drag him down, but not before he picks up the first down. And on that run, he shows you his speed, speed, speed. When I think Oregon Duck running backs, LaMichael James, Kenyon Barnum, Jonathan Stewart, I think about guys that are burners, and when they got into the second level, they were gone. That's exactly what this guy is right here. The give to the back. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. He'll pull it on the read. And a nice solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. You know, this zone replay is something they rep over and over and over in practice. This guy can run it and execute it in his sleep. Good decision there keeping the football. This has the makings of a good drive. The seventh play brings up a third and four. Running back goes in motion. Looking downfield, it's Gabriel. Quick completion on the out route. He's run out of bounds, but he's got enough to move the sticks. Well, we know this guy is special, and because of that, his quarterback is looking to him on critical down and distances. There on that third down, there was no question. It wouldn't have mattered if he was single covered, double covered, man zone. That's where he was going with it, and the big time playmaker outside picks up the first. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. They can really be aggressive after that last play. It's second and three. To the ground with the back. Able to make the stop after a gain of two to the 22. Third and short from the 22. Is the field goal unit getting ready, or is this already four-down territory? And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. Well, the defense got the stop there on third and one. Let's see if they can do it again here on fourth and inches, David. I just got to find a way to fall forward, be physical. We work on this all week. You know you're going for it on fourth down. Here comes the field goal unit visualizing the right ball flight from 39 yards out in the right hatch. Kick is good. The offense has three points to show for the drive. And guys, after the field goal, now they have the lead. After putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. And he takes this from inside the five. And the returner will be knocked down. Here comes the Ohio State offense onto the field. That last drive really productive. David wound up with a touchdown. They'll try to do it again. Yeah, so I don't expect this offense to change too much, Reese. They had a great drive. They got the touchdown. Everything working. I would expect them to keep pushing this ball downhill. And just imagine if they could put another touchdown on the board right here. They could capture so much momentum in this game with back-to-back -back TDs. Ran the ball on first down. Let's see what they do on second. Back to pass. It's Howard. He's got his man. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Really nice throw there to get the first down. And, you know, when you think about Ohio State quarterback play, especially here recently, it all comes down to efficiency. You have to make good decisions. you got to read the defense. you got to be accurate. But you think of guys like Justin Fields, C.J. Stroud, guys who went in the first round. That's what they did. And, 
This guy right here, I think he has the ability to be a first-rounder in the future. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Most offensive schemes are predicated on first-down productivity. That will not go down as a productive first-down play. No, it will not, Reese. Give this defensive line credit because they were able to get penetration right off the snap and force a negative play. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. They'll run play action. Throws for the tight end. Got his man. And he was on his way. Gets it all the way to the 38. Hey, it's important on offense in the passing game. You've got to have balance. And I mean, you've got to be able to attack different thirds of the field. You've got to work the perimeter to both sides. You've got to let the defense know, too, that you're not afraid to go over the middle. And they did right there. And the Buckeyes will hustle to the line. Using his legs, it's Judkins. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. You know, runs like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. And as the game goes on, these small gains are going to turn into longer runs. Time has expired here in the quarter, and Oregon has the lead. And we've come to the end of the first as we take a moment to check out the stats so far. Lots of time left, and we're ready to get back to it and open the second period. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. And a good, solid pickup there before the defense knocks him down. Offensive linemen love to run the power. Why? You run power. You run power. Then you can play action. You don't want that defense to be sitting there saying, it's a pass, it's a pass, having to pass block every play. you got to keep defenses off balance. This is the type of play that decides games. Are you tough enough to convert third and short from the 30? Moving deeper into enemy territory. Move the chains. It's first down at the 27. That is how it's done on third down and short. A no doubt about it. An easy hole to get through and clearly get the first down. If you really want to simplify football, the low man wins. That time, the offense got the better of the D. Easily picked that up. Trying to surprise him with the pass. It's complete. Gets it inside the five, down to the four, and it'll be first and goal. I'll tell you what, that's great execution between the QB and receiver. They look like they could execute that throw in their sleep. Quarterback took his steps, threw it on time. Great route by the receiver. Nice job securing the catch. The Buckeyes have it with a first and goal. The quarterback run is part of their game plan. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Now on the option. Bring in the heat. And you race it to the house. Touchdown, Ohio State! If you're able to move the ball in a drive like that, the most overrated stat in football would be field position. Agreed, and I think confidence is big right now after that last drive. To be able to flip the field like that, not just do it, but go down and score a touchdown. Running and throwing. For this offense now moving forward in this game, that last drive is going to pay big dividends. Getting set for the point after. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The Ducks ready to go back to work on offense. From the gun, running back on the move. At the 35, he's loose. Off he goes. And that one looked as if it might go all the way, but they picked up more than 40 yards before the touchdown saving tackle. Well, that's why this running game can be so dynamic. This guy is special when he has the football in his hands. He can make 
people miss, he can run with power, and he also has speed. You saw it on that last play. Off the play fake on first down. They're bringing heat. Pressure is effective from the defense. They knock him down just behind the midfield stripe at the 48. That type of pressure on the quarterback, that's vintage Ohio State, right in keeping with the legacy that's been established by the Buckeye D. Yeah, and you take pride in that. You own that legacy with all those guys you see performing at a high level in the NFL. Man, you see that, you want to go get it. Recruiting guys to fit those profiles, that's why Ohio State always has a good defensive line. First down, sack pushes it back. Now it's second down. They go to the ground. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Man, oh, man, am I upset at my offensive line to give up penetration that fast? Man, we blinked and missed it. Hey, he barely got the ball. He just got destroyed immediately. What a great play. And we might as well state the obvious. First and second down didn't work out. Third and very long. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Fires deep for the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Oregon. A lot of times you see those receivers, as soon as they get by the DBs, you know, that hand goes straight up in the air. I got him. I got a step on him. He got a step on him. And the ball was thrown perfectly out in front. And you can see he runs underneath it, gets it, and gets the long touchdown on the go route. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they capped off the drive with a big play through the air, scoring from 50 yards out. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. On the move from inside is five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Buckeyes roll that offense back out there. These two defenses have had their heads spinning here in the first half, and now we might even see a little more scoring with this drive. It's going back and forth. This is like two heavyweights just trading blows, David. What has this defense got to do to get a stop here? I, I tell you what, man. When you're giving up points like this and you've got no momentum, you've got to find somebody that can make a play to create some. And, and listen, if, you're sc if they're scoring anyways, let's be aggressive. Let's blitz more. Let's, let's make sure we're making them feel discomfort in some way, shape, or form. Grabbed in the middle, it's Scott. Stopped at the 44, but he got 10 on the play. Love the way he didn't just run to a spot. He found the cushion in the zone and got himself open for the first down. Yeah, and you're taught to find that space. Now, don't run right into a zone defender who's sitting there looking at the quarterback and looking at you. So much creativity with routes now and being able to just have subtle moves one way, come back the other way. Nice job by the tight end finding that hole in the zone. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Unloads to the wideout. That is just a sideline credit. Throw, catch, toe drag, everything you want. That's a great job getting the first down by that guy. He's a big time weapon. He's got the speed. He's got everything you look for in a wide receiver. And it's funny, you think about Ohio State football. Back in the day, Woody Hayes running the ball three yards in a cloud of dust. But recently, They've been recruiting playmakers at the receiving position because this offense has changed. It's now up-tempo. They're now throwing the ball vertically down the field, and they've had so many guys go in the first round in recent years. This dude right here fits that mold to a tee. Love watching this guy play. Let's see what they've got on second down. The give to the tailback. Brought down at the 30-yard line. It's a gain of six. Just a simple power play. Again, not sexy. Run the ball up the middle. Physicality. Offensive line gets to assert themselves. Run block, what they love to do. This pays dividends down the road in the fourth quarter. 
They've worked it down to the 30. This defense standing tall, trying to force a field goal try. To throw, it's Howard. Fires to the wideout. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Slam to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. Well, I think on that play, you saw why this guy's such a big weapon in this offense. At receiver, he does such a nice job with his routes. He's patient, and he's consistent, and he's got good hands. You don't see him put a lot of balls on the ground. Nice job there picking up the first down. Looking for space. It's Judkins. Able to pick up a couple before he's knocked down. They mark it at the 10. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. They'll go to the ground. So close to that end zone. He could almost taste it, but it'll be first and goal for this offense. Well, it's a really nice job of the offense mixing it up on this drive. We've seen some nice plays throwing it, and how about that one running it too? Great push up front. The Buckeyes line it up with a first and goal. Looking to throw. Makes the grab. He gets it in. Touchdown, Buckeyes. And that's why this running back is so dangerous. It's not just handing him off the football, but he's a weapon in the passing game. You see his, his ability to catch it, turn up field, make people miss, and find the end zone. Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. They put together an 81-yard drive, and they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five. And they'll get him on the ground as the offense comes out to start the next drive. Looking for a productive play on first down. He wants to throw. That's caught. It's Stewart. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. Really nice discipline by that receiver against man coverage because you know that throw is going to be contested with a defender in your back pocket. He fights back to the football. He fights through contact and shows really strong hands on the catch. Looking for room. It's James. At the 35, he's open. Up near the 40-yard line. They'll mark it at the 39 to pick up a 15. The Ducks trying to win the day by running for another first down. Yeah, run the football. It's always been the state. We go back as far as you want with Oregon teams. The ones that were good, they were built on the running of the football, the physicalness. Run the ball, baby. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. And there's so much for a quarterback to think about. Stick it out in the belly. Do I pull it? Now when I pull it, oh, I got to get my feet set, make an accurate throw to the right guy. So a lot of things going on. And I think that you saw that led to a little bit of inaccuracy. Let's see which way they go after the incompletion. Second and 10 from the 39. Leaves it with the running back. And those physical runs take a toll. It might not be a big game now, but down the road, third, fourth quarter, late in the ball games, they tend to turn into bigger runs. Ball is at the 41 as this defense tries to force the punt on third and long. To the air, it's Gabriel. A strike downfield. He's loose down the left side. Touchdown, Ducks! 
And once he found open space, the band might as well start playing. Now that's the way to bail out the rest of the team. Start with bad field position, put together a drive anyway. And very confident. You can see the quarterback just had a bit of a swagger race. He was like, look, all right, we're starting deep in our own end. Special teams didn't help us out, but we can fix that right now, fellas. And they went out and looked so good on that last drive. Lining up to add another. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. And they cap things off with a touchdown pass from 59 yards out. On the run from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Here comes the Ohio State offense onto the field. The way this game started, you feel as if you have to score a touchdown every time you have it, and now we'll see if they can respond. Yeah, and I wonder how much pressure that puts on the offense. Jesse, like, you know this is back and forth, and I got to score, and every possession matters so much. What does that do to you as a quarterback? Well, it puts a lot more pressure on you for sure to feel like I got to make every third down throw. If guys are open vertically down the field, I got to hit them too. We can't let our serve get broken. Trying play action. And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. The defense just simply not fooled by the play action. Oftentimes, as an offense, you're hoping the run fake's going to slow down those pass rushers, but man, oh man, they had their ears pinned back. They've got them pinned deep in their own end, and this crowd trying to help keep them there. Back to throw, it's Howard. And he feels the heat coming, and it burns him up. Another sack. When you're on defense and you get to play outside linebacker, it's about as good as it gets, right? I get to rush the passer just like this and put him on the ground. Then I get to cover in space. I get to move all over the place. Great job by the outside linebacker. The most fun position to play in college football. And the Buckeyes will punt it away on fourth down. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. He's got great speed. That's a perfect example of not settling for a fair catch. Pick up whatever yardage you can and help out the offense. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. Knocked down at the 35 after a pickup of three. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Off the play fake. Coming after him. Throws to the wideout got him downfield and they'll finally catch up to him but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up when you're going to run a comeback route you've got to sell like you're going deep and that was a great job there by the receiver really making that corner think he was running deep down the field so we got the corner to turn his hips turn his shoulders and then the receiver was able to just pivot around and make it an easy pass and catch They'll run it to the right. Nowhere to run on now, and he loses four on the carry. Well, this guy's been eating them alive all game long. Finally, though, David, you wonder if the defense has been able to make some adjustments, find something positive to help slow this guy down. Hey, baby steps, right? That, that's a tackle for a loss. I know he's got over a hundo on the game, but this defense is definitely going to have to be more aggressive, commit more guys to stopping that bad man. Right through his hands and incomplete, and he'll want that one back. It'll be third down. And you got to put that one on the receiver. That's just a flat-out drop. That's a good throw by the quarterback. That's a catch that receiver needs to make. Now facing a third and long. 
looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. Pressure's there, and he gets rid of it. Another incompletion on third down. And the offense got themselves in a tough situation. Third and long, so hard to execute, especially when the field starts to shrink. But the good news is they got a field goal in their back pocket. And here comes the field goal unit for the second time tonight. The holder will put it down on the right hash, a 33-yard try. Right down the boulevard, it's good. After putting up a three spot, the kickoff unit set to go. He'll start the return inside his five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. The Buckeyes roll that offense back out there. Leaves it with the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, the most insightful analysis I can come up with on that one is that didn't work. Back to the drawing board to see if there's something that works a little better soon. Or if I can quote the great Reese Davis, that was very ungood. Not a productive first down play. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. The give out of the gun. They needed to find enough space and get it moving forward, and they're up to the 22. And as an offense, having success on a run play like that early in the game just opens up all the possibilities of your playbook moving forward. Play action, running the ball, throwing the ball, screens, anything is at your disposal at this point. Dropping back, it's Howard. Wide open downfield. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. When you're a playmaker like this guy is, your coaches are going to dial up plays intended for you, especially on third down. That's what you saw in that last play. There was no question where the quarterback was going with that football. All week long, they decided on the biggest downs of this game, we're going to target our best player, and we're going to make sure that he gets looks. It doesn't matter what the coverage is, and you saw it right there on that play. The Buckeyes have it with a first and ten. He's looking to throw it. The short hands. It's Judkins. Guys out of the backfield now, it's not just run the ball downhill anymore. You got to be versatile. I got to be able to trust you in the pass game. And I got to be able to throw you the football. And you can do that right there. I know you're going to catch it, and I can depend on you. Quick tempo, no huddle offense. Second down, clock's running. He's looking to throw. And he dropped it. Just didn't look the thing all the way in. Just got to finish the play for the wide receiver. You got to look that one in and complete it. It's a bad drop. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Looking to throw it again. They're trying to get to it. And he just throws it away on third down. I don't think you can give up on a play like that. Really nice job by the defense. Playing aggressive. Understanding it could be a running situation, but still playing disciplined enough to play the pass and be successful on that third machine. The Buckeyes will bring the punt team onto the field. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And the punt will hit at the one just a little too far for them to be able to down it. It'll be a touchback and come out to the 20. Trying to start the drive with a pass. Quickly to the tight end. And that was some kind of collision between a couple of big bodies there. And he stopped from getting the first down. I'll tell you, I love the play call on first down here. You're just trying to find an easy completion. And the shortest throw on the field for the quarterback is finding your biggest target, and that's the tight end. Nice job. Line getting set on second down. Catch in the middle. It's Johnson. The offense will have to use its first timeout of the half. 
How nice is it in this offense to have your best receiver playing in the slot? You're matching him up against linebackers, against safeties, or nickel corners. Nickel corners are oftentimes the defense's third best cornerback. This guy is virtually uncoverable. And a good job of coverage by that defense, just a short pickup. One of the most difficult things about this slot receiver is his shiftiness and his athleticism. He's very, very difficult to tackle after the catch. That last completion sets him up on second down. Wants to throw. It's Gabriel. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. Unloads to the wideout. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. Every defense in the country talks about getting offenses in predictable third and long situations where I can bring on more speedsters and I know the pass is coming so I can have more success. The Ducks will send out the punt unit. They'll look to pin him deep. All the way back to the 15. Couldn't get away from that cover team, and they've got him down at the 23. It's first down, but the offense is just going to take a knee and go to the locker room. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Thanks, guys. Looks like you've had an enjoyable day there today in Eugene. And if you thought that was a quick first half, you'd be right on the money. An offensive showcase, yes, but it's been those dynamic running backs who have set the pace. I'm curious to find out if this ground-and-pound approach is going to continue into the second half or if one of those defenses will actually show some pride. And with that, let's send it back to the guys in Autzen Stadium. And the Ducks will kick it away first and will start the second half. And he takes this from inside the five. And the ball pops out. Oh, inviting disaster. It's as if that ball had a magnet going back to the offense. How in the world did they keep it? They'll open the second half with a run. Picks his way ahead, pick up a three, and gets it to the 20-yard line. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. They knock him down after a gain of three to the 23. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Looking to throw, it's Howard. He's got his man. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. He might have expected to see this DB up in his receiver's kitchen instead. Nice little zone, and they pick up the first. Man, offenses are getting so good, Reese, at seeing the holes in the zone, knowing you're in zone, knowing where to sit down, how to make it an easy pitch and catch for the quarterback, and that's what it was on third and shot. And he'll pick up the first down after a tough run there. You're down. Obviously, at the half, you had a conversation. we got to come out and put points on the board. And, Jesse, it looks like they're going to start with the ground game. And I love this, David, too. Regardless of whether they're losing or they're winning, come out here and try to be the most physical unit here in the second half. Get this run game established. They'll throw it on first down. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. 
And the big tight end, a lot of times that's a bigger strike zone, a bigger dude, and you could tell they put the hit on him, and that ball came out, and it came to the turf. Nice job playing physical by this defense. After the quarterback and receiver couldn't connect, it's second and ten. Power football with the run. Even if they don't convert, picking up a few would give them a decision to make on fourth down. It's third and long from the 45. Looking to scramble. The quarterback bought as much time as he could, but the defense got to him and sacked him. Well, that defender just was better in his one-on-one -on, -one on the pass rush. He does a great job beating the offensive lineman to get to the QB. Buckeyes will line up to punt it away. He'll get it to about the 25 before they put a stop to the return. And Oregon has it back, and here comes the offense. They missed an opportunity to extend this lead the last time they had it. And the quarterback is snowed under. That's a great individual effort by him right there. When I think about Ohio State football, too, especially on defense, right, it's the legacy of the silver bullets, guys flying around, giving great effort and getting to the football. But it all has to start up front on the D-line. You've got to be dominant at that position. And right there, you just saw that, the ability to win one-on-one -on -one and make a play. A first down sack can wreck a drive. Let's see what they've got on second and 14. He leaves it with his back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. When a running back has had as much success as this guy's had so far, listen, defense has got to cue in. They got to cue in to him. He's priority number one, number two, and number three. That's a good start to maybe turning this defensive effort around. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. He's got an open man. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. The Ducks moving quickly to the line. On the ground, it's James. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Maybe that stop shows this defense is tightening up, especially in the run game. The offense, frankly, they've been able to do whatever they want to do. They're just handing the ball off. This guy's having success left and right. No sir, no boss. Get it together. They got nothing on the last play at second and ten. From the gun, the ground game. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. This running back's had all kind of success. Now we're getting later in the game. we got to make sure we get some stops, get the ball back to our offense. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Back to pass. It's Gabriel. Throws to the tight end. And they can't make the play on third down. Well, in the first half, this offense was up and down the field. It seemed like everything they were dialing up was working. And here we are in the third quarter, and there's a very rare incompletion on their own end of the field. Maybe that's the play the defense needs now to spark some momentum. The Ducks will call on their punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Make sure that there's not going to be a return on this one. Ball's out of bounds, and I think they'll mark it right around the 25. They'll try the toss to the left. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Well, the offense is running towards the open grass, right? They're going toss play to the field, but way too much penetration defensively, forcing that tackle for loss. A negative play to open the drive. Let's see what they've got on second and 14. 
He's looking to throw. Safe completion on the screen. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. Yeah, and he didn't get a big gain. You, you want to call that play and probably want to get more yards, but you could tell that was super close from seriously busting loose. Nice job running the screen, getting the ball to your playmaker. If he could just make one more guy miss, that might have been huge. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. Man, how loud is it in this building? This is crazy. This, these fans are going absolutely nuts. And I used to love when the fans got involved, and I'm on defense, because it messes with the snap count, it messes with the communication, and it can really rattle an offense. The Buckeyes decide to punt it away. Here's the fair catch, but there is a flag on the field. We might have to do this one again. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. The gift to the back. After the pickup of nine, it's second and one. Well, I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. That kind of pickup on first down, and you can take a shot here on second and short. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. Defense thinking run all the way, and you could tell they sell out. They stuff the run. Now it's third and short. Will they run again, or are you going to force them to pass the football? Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. They'll try to bully their way for the first. They convert on third down as he gets it to the 46-yard line. Well, they needed two yards to get that first down. That's exactly what they got. Great job of execution. No secret about it. Just got to be physical, get a hat on a hat, low man wins, all the cliches to get that third down and short. The Buckeyes will snap it on first and ten. Caught in the backfield, it's Abuka. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. This slot receiver gives defensive coordinators nightmares. You have got to double him virtually on every pass play. He better have safety help over top. Otherwise, this guy's a threat to score every time they throw the ball. Now on second down. Looking to throw a tower. Might be looking to run. Nice job of avoiding the sack and picking up a few on the run. Well, great job there by the defense because they weren't able to get him sacked right away, but you saw the coverage in the back end. Nor for the quarterback to throw the football. Didn't get the sack, obviously. You don't get the negative play, but you also don't give up a big one. You're feeling pretty good about where you are right now in this drive. About to snap it for the eighth time on this drive, and it's a third down and four. Snagged in the middle. It's a Buka. Just what they'd hoped for on third down is they've got a first at the 32. And on that third and short, I don't think he was unhappy to see that zone. Nope, it's a great job by the offense. Hey, see where the holes in the zone are? Sit down. You only need a little bit of yards on this third down. Get the conversion. Move the sticks. And the Buckeyes are flying down the field. Wants to throw on first down. Catch in the middle. It's Abuka. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. He's just winning that matchup in the slot every time. Yeah, and when you put him in the slot, Reese, he's closer to the quarterback. It's an easier throw. We can run in, we can run out, and really take advantage of his versatility of the guy in that slot position. This defense just can't get off the field. The offense, unstoppable. They're setting up the screen. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. I know a lot of people are going to look at that play and say, man, that was a bad play. Didn't gain any yards. But that could be the offense maybe setting something up. The play caller is going to remember that last play. He's going to remember how the defense reacted to it, made a quick tackle. They might pump that throw and then hit another player vertically down the field for an explosive play. And the quarterback is toast back at the 35. And those outside linebackers nowadays, they're so fast. they got to cover ground. 
you can blitz them off the edge and they can get after quarterbacks versatile that's why they're getting drafted so high in the NFL and getting paid all that It's fourth down, and they'll try the field goal. He's going to reach for a long one, a 52-yard attempt. Splits the uprights right down the middle. Well, that kid just showed off his hammer for a leg, 50-plus, and he did it with ease. So the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away after putting up a field goal. Let's see what the defense can do. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The Ducks ready to go back to work on offense. Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guys that have been working for you earlier on in this game and getting them the football. Yeah, and there's obviously no need to panic. I mean, think about it. You've got the lead. You've got the football. you got to be smart with the football. Make your plays. Put a good drive together here. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. To the air, it's Gabriel. Gets it to the back. He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. And a really nice job by the defense winning second down. I think the quarterback thought he could dump this off, maybe get some positive yards, set up a good third down. The defense did a great job responding and getting that running back on the ground. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Makes a connection. Solid work and execution there. They'll have a first down as they mark it at the 40. This dude is just exceptional in every facet. So fluid, such a great route runner, and a big play there. And money down, third down, find him. I mean, you want to find that matchup because he's going to win. And gets a good release, gets down the field. You see his, that's your playmaker, that's your guy. Get it to him, get the first down. They'll go to the toss. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. It's the M.O. of this offense, and they really put a lot on the offensive line to go out and really try and establish their dominance and their assertiveness, and they've done a good job of that early in this game, running the football. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. He's looking to throw. Quick completion on the out. And the defense able to drag him down, but not before. They'll recycle that down marker. I just love quarterbacks that aren't greedy and that aren't always trying to throw the home run ball, right? Second down, you're in your own end of the field. The guy you want to throw to is not open. Just find the bat. He'll go do something positive with it. This guy is a weapon, and you got to find him in the passing game. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Good job to avoid the negative play and just get rid of that thing. The incompletion brings us to second and ten. Looking for a man. It's Gabriel. Got his man quickly. Using him out of the slot, he has just been unstoppable. And I love putting dynamic athletes in the slot that I can move around, that I can put in motion, that I can, I can make him go in or out. I can put him off the ball so you can't get hands on him. And they've really featured this guy today. They've started a pretty good drive. This will be the seventh play, but they need to convert third and five. Pressure coming. And they'll miss the connection here on third down. Well, he didn't have a whole lot of time to get rid of that one. The defense was all over him right after the snap. No wonder that thing fell incomplete. And the Ducks will punt this one away.
and the return man will have no chance as the ball sails out of bounds. Here comes the Ohio State offense onto the field. You want to talk about having a weapon to bail out a drive? And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. And you could easily argue the biggest reason this team is trailing here in the second half is because they have not been able to protect their quarterback tonight. They've already given up five sacks in the game. And you just saw another one right there. This offensive line has had problems all night long. That first down was rather unproductive. Let's see what they've got on second down from the 16. Wide receiver now comes in motion. On second down, they'll take to the air. Got his man downfield. And they'll spot it at the 38, and that'll be plenty for the first down. The Buckeye aerial attack continues to be prolific. You feel as if they're on the verge of scoring on any snap. And it's such a good blend between such great offensive talent year after year after year that you see go to the draft, but also great play calling, great play design. They, they've always got it working, and you know this offense is always capable of hanging 40 points and making it look easy. Scanning the field, it's Howard. Makes his connection. They make the stop, but the sweet throwing catch is plenty to give them a first down. Well, they execute the in route, and how about the arm strength by the QB? That was an absolute bullet on that completion. The Buckeyes have it with a first and ten. Here's a quick throw out to the left. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. These two quarterbacks have produced as we check out their numbers after three. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. Quick touch pass to the receiver. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. And great recognition by the corner. That touch pass, after he throws at the quarterback, it's a pass. He can't throw it forward again. Nice job understating that, flying up, coming and making a big tackle in the open field. These fans stepping up to help this defense on third down. The play-action fake. Moving away from pressure. He's going to take off. And they did not let him reach the line to gain. It'll bring up a decision here. Great job rallying to the football by this defense. Third down, QB's trying to extend the play, but great team speed on defense now setting up four. The Buckeyes will try to pin them back with the punt. And that one will sail out of bounds. No chance for a return there. And Oregon has it back, and here comes the offense. Their drive chart is starting to look a little monotonous. Punt, 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 David. And their defense is starting to get a little frustrated, too. They just keep putting me back on the field, possession after possession. Jesse, this offense needs to get their heads out of their you-know-what. The punter's on the sideline with the oxygen mask right now. He's been playing so much. He's not used to this. This offense, they just got to stay on the field. They've got to put a drive together and get some balance going, running and throwing the ball. The toss sweep to the right. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Yeah, it's a nice job by this defense. Obviously backed up against it. Time running out. Got to get the football back. Two good plays. Now third down. I stay aggressive. Have to come after him. If they decide to throw over the football, so be it. But stay aggressive. Get that football back for your offense. On third and long, he's going to have to turn one loose downfield. And the quarterback is knocked down back at the 13. 
awesome job by the defense. Not only getting a fast quarterback on the ground, but understanding what he wants to do. He can take off. I got to make sure I got good pursuit angles, and I got to make sure I build rails. I can't let him outside. I got to keep him in the pocket. He tries to get outside. They get the sack and get the huge loss on that play. The Ducks send out the punt unit. Three and out. They got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. He gets a block. The solid return there offsets some of the punt yardage and really sets up this offense nicely. The Buckeyes roll that offense back out there. From the gun, running back gets to give. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. Well, he was trying to do it all by himself. At the end of the day, it's a tackle for the uh, I mean, the number of tackles he broke at some point, somebody's got to get blocked to help the guy out a little bit. Man, the defense was like a bunch of zombies on that last play. They just would not stop chasing that ball carry. Takes the handoff. It's Judkins. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. Big third down as the crowd gets behind this defense. Looking to pass, it's Howard. He puts a lot of air under it down the sideline. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. And now such a tough situation. Late in this game, you're trailing, but now it's fourth and long. Like, it's one thing if it's fourth and short. This makes it even more difficult. You've got to have something dialed up you feel really great about. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. The Ducks ready to go back to work on offense. They've hit a bit of a lull here, and they need to get things cranked up with this possession, Jesse. Just haven't had a rhythm these last couple of possessions, but I'll tell you, the best way to get back into one is to run the football. Establish yourselves up front at the line of scrimmage and help keep these third downs manageable. Yeah, and the best news is your defense at least forced a punt of their own. So now you can go answer with that good stop while this game is still close. Let's just go keep putting more points on the board, and let's see less of the punter. Now the play fake. Looking to the big tight end. He makes a catch. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the play. Let's see if it stands. They decline the penalty for pass interference, and they'll stand on the results of the play. Off the play fake on first down to throw. And they got him for the sack. Nice sack by the defense. Great job getting to him, getting him on the ground. That's the fourth sack of the day. This defense has had some bright moments, but they've also given up some big plays. Keep rushing the quarterback, but keep that coverage intact in the back end. A big play for the defense with the first down sack. Now, advantage D as the offense comes up on second down. Give to the running back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Defense doing their job getting that last stop, and now third in California. Not a lot of play calls to convert this, so defensively, let's get off the field now. The clock's running. We need to give it back to our offense with as much time as possible. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. Pocket starts to collapse. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. Another sack by this defense. But how about this QB? He continues to get back up every single time, still leading his team, still staying positive, still putting him in a good position to win this football game. The Ducks line up to punt it away. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. He'll get away another punt. He's been really active today, and no doubt he's going to earn his varsity ladder. Here comes the Ohio State offense onto the field. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really 
quickly. They need to put something together here, Palmer. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this one. Got a little work done on first down. Now back to the line. The give on the inside. And he's brought down at the 40-yard line, and that'll be a first down. And listen, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I, I mean, I love teams that commit to the run, and when it's successful, keep running the rock. Yeah, David, I, I think this offensive line right now, they've got a lather going. They're, they're really sort of getting in the groove and flow of this game. They're just getting tremendous push at the point of attack. It seems like every single time they decide to run the ball. And the defense makes the stop after a minimal game. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Looking for a man, it's Howard. Find his big tight end. Stopped at the 47-yard line, a 10-yard gain, and they'll move the markers. Ever since they invented the forward pass, the tight ends have been running the drag and getting the first down. I think it's because the tight ends, is so much versatility. You know, they can block and stay in the formation, or they can release and come out. But either way, if the quarterback's patient, most of the time, that drag route's going to come over. Got three on first down at second and seven. They'll go right back to it. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Well, they're trying to get that run play going to the outside, but it's the defensive end who does a great job winning his one-on-one -on -one and forcing the negative play. They need to get a little closer for a field goal try, and they've got to do it in a hurry. On third and long, try to convert through the air. They've got the screen set up. And they are finding some space in this defense. He's got it down to the 25. And they executed that running back screen to perfection. Quarterback held on to it. He let the rush get to him. Offensive lineman got out in position and the running back sold it too. Once he had the ball in his hands, he just had blockers and Greenfield out in front of him. They pick up an explosive play on a running back screen. Looking to go up top on first down. And he can't find a receiver, and down he goes. This quarterback is thinking to himself, I need to get an NIL deal at some restaurant so I can take my offensive line out and feed them more because I don't think they like me very much right now. I've been sacked six times in this game. It's time to get that new NIL deal paycheck. Big loss on the last play threatens to knock this drive off course. It's second and 16. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. Quick pass on the jet motion. Pulled down after a pickup of four to the 27. Ninth play of the drive coming up, but this one will be tough. Third and long. To the air, it's Howard. Fires to the wideout. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. They get him stopped at the two, but it'll be first and goal. I love that from this offense. Three is good. You're in field goal range, but now we're set up with first and goal because of great third down execution by this offense. Stay aggressive. Even when you get in this part of the field when everything shrinks and gets a little bit harder, you still want to be aggressive. Pushes toward the goal line. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. You want to bring in your tight ends? You want to bring in more beef for that offensive line? I'm going to bring in more beef. Nice job by the defense understanding the situation. Red zone, field shrinks. I need more bigger personnel on the field, some big guys that can stop the run. Played the run well. Great job by the defense understanding the situation. 
keeps it on the bootleg. Touchdown, Ohio State! They move on top here in the fourth. And some of these guys make it look so easy, but these are tight windows down here, man. There's not a lot of space on the field, and he drops back, knows exactly where he's going with the football, throws it in there, makes the play, and more importantly, now his team is in the lead in the fourth quarter. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good, and every point counts. It's now a four-point lead in the fourth. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the move from inside is five. And good work by the coverage team to get the return man down on the ground. And Oregon has it back, and here comes the offense. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And, David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. He'll run it again. Hammers ahead for a yard out to the 12. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are strong, and I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out on the line of scrimmage. They create separation. They wrap running backs up, and usually they don't get out of the midst of those big boys. On third and long, you'll have to turn it loose deep. And the sack all the way back at the five. And if your job is to irritate, to confuse, to hit, to make quarterbacks feel very uncomfortable, this defense is definitely doing their job. Six sacks, that's the way to make the quarterback feel like he's having a hard day. He's had no response. This offensive line has no response. Just a sack party. And the Ducks will punt it away on fourth down. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. Sometimes avoiding disaster is the best thing. The punter just gets it out of there. Now a fair catch is called for and may just shy of midfield. The Buckeyes roll that offense back out there. And they've got a little bit of a cushion here, David. If they can add to it on this drive, it would be nice. And it definitely makes a little bit of a difference. Knowing I'm up by more than a field goal, obviously, Jesse, my mindset switches, and I know I can't make mistakes. Yeah, and David, I don't think they have to reinvent the wheel on offense here. What they've been calling has been working. Just get back to doing what you're good at. Time is on their side, and they're going to wind that play clock all the way down. Off the bootleg, looking to fire. Unloads to the wideout. It's caught downfield. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Love the play call offensively because you've got the lead. The defense expects you to run the ball. You just did it the previous play, so there you dial up play action, set up an easy throw, and you keep the clock ticking. With a first down, they'll snap it from the 32. The throw to the outside is complete. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. This is so interesting right now, watching this offense stay aggressive. They've got the lead in the fourth quarter, and you're thinking at home, we got to just run the ball and try to bleed the clock. They found something on defense they're taking advantage of. Two straight completions. I won't be surprised if they throw it again. He'll keep it himself. You know, I really like this QB running the football because I know he's got a lot of speed, but he's not the biggest guy in the world. So he's not going to be able to break a lot of tackles. you really got to do a good job of trying to scheme ways to get him out in more space. On second down, will they go back to the ground game? The RPO, fire complete to the left. And he gets it down to the four-yard line before he's finally stopped. A terrific run after the catch. 
I think most offenses around the country in a situation like this with the lead late would be trying to run the football, right, or throw it short and try to bleed the clock. But this offense, man, it's still pedal to the metal. They're looking for chunk play opportunities. We have arrived at the two-minute warning, a one-possession game as this offense tries to hold on. And this offense not only has a chance to extend the lead, but they can also drain that clock. They'll keep it on the ground for first and goal. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. Defense uses a timeout quickly trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. Can the defense stop them again on second and goal? The run up the middle looking for the score. The two things you're thinking about here offensively is one, you want to take as much time off the clock. But two, you really want to score another touchdown to make this a two-possession game. You could almost ice it if you can find a way to get in the end zone here. Just take your time. Don't snap it too quickly. Needs to get it in the end zone on third and goal. Dances away again. And he rolls into the house. Touchdown, Buckeyes! And you know, late in the games, offenses sometimes get conservative when they got the lead and they got the ball. I love this offense. They were aggressive. They got another score added to the lead. Now you're trying to salt this game away. Ready to try the point after. And the extra point is up and good, and they have an 11-point fourth quarter lead. That last drive covered 52 yards on their way to the score. And it was capped off with the eight-yard run. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. The Ducks ready to go back to work on offense. Trying to find his man on first down. Here's a throw downfield late. And the DB forcing the incomplete pass with the deflection. Yeah, and I think you know the situation as a defender, and you know you're up by a score, and you know exactly what's going on with the offense. they got to make some big plays here in the fourth quarter. Nice job playing the deep ball, staying deep, and not giving up the big play. And after the incompletion on first down, this offense looking at second down. Fires to the right. Oh, did he find a hole in the defense? And the tackle is made, but not before. That completion gets him 30-plus. What a beautiful throw and catch on this play. And I love the job the receiver did tracking the ball in the air. Nice job of locating the throw and then hauling it in. Offense rushing to the line of scrimmage. Clock is stopped for the first down. They'll try to get it off quickly. Dropping back, it's Gabriel. Just a little off. Incomplete. That is one when they watch film next week that that receiver is going to wish he had back. That quarterback had all day to throw the football. That was basically seven on seven. There was no one near the QB. Receiver's got to make the catch. Second down after that incompletion. He's looking to throw. Trying to escape and get it himself. Short gain on the play before he slides. Welcome to the frustrating reality of college football. Like, the guy at the quarterback spot, he can just do that. Pull it down, get positive yards, makes the defense have to account for him every single play. IndyCar tempo as they head to the line for this third down play. Clock running. From the gun, wants to pass. Caught near the sticks, it's Johnson. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. Timeout called by the offense. Clock stopped with 21 seconds left. To the air on first down. Throws to the back. 
He's got it. He stopped just a chain link or two away from the first down and sets them up beautifully here. 